Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review, tutorial, and swatches of the latest Alter Ego Artemis palette. Now let me tell you guys, I've had this palette for a while. I'm not joking. It's been there. I just haven't had time to do it. And now I finally sat down and did it and I was like, wow, finally, you know. <laughs> yeah. Finally here. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I love this palette. It's so cute. I love the sleek design. I've loved it since I got it in my hands. I was like, wow, the design is so pretty. It's just typical. Their typical design that they usually do with the dark green, the Artemis, the name, the whole, like, how they did everything. The back just has a bunch of random squares. <laughs> like, I don't know why they did that, but they did that because it just seems weird to me that you have a bunch of squares that don't exactly represent the color. They're not the actual color of the, the square that they're representing. It just says the names and the squares. That's about it. And then it has, you know, their cruelty-free little thing right there. 28 eyeshadow palette. Of course, when you open her up, you have this huge mirror. It says Artemis right here. And then these are the colors inside the palette. For those of you that don't know, and I mean like literally, how can you not know, right? I don't know why, but just in case you don't know, this is actually a dupe for um, the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I never got that palette because honestly, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to spend $129 for a palette. I was like, no way. You know, that's just a lot of money. So when I heard that they were making a dupe for it, I was like all over it. I was like, heck yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I'm buying that one. I can't honestly remember the top of my head what it, what it costed. I cannot remember for the life of me, but it is super cheap. It was around like, I want to say $26 around there. If even that, I mean, I think at the most it was probably 30. I know it wasn't, it wasn't no $129. I can tell you that. Um, hey, no mind. I have no eyeliner right now. I'll probably do it. Right in a second, and you'll see me flash back with eyeliner on. I, was, <laughs> I don't know. I got lazy. Somebody called me right now before I started growing, you know, recording, and I was like, dang, I didn't, I didn't put on my eyeliner. But that's besides the point, okay? Let's just do this. <laughs> so, boom, I have eyeliner on now. <laughs> Let's do the swatches, you guys. I'm going to start with Hunt, and I'm just going to go across till we get to the end, right? This is a super, it, I don't want to say super heavy, but it's kind of heavy, and it's kind of hard to be like picking it up and doing all these uh, push-ups and stuff. I don't know. I'm not going to do that. So let's start with Hunt. Hunt is this, um, I want to say it's a matte. It is this orange and it has like a tiny bit of yellow in it. I don't know. I like it. I think it's super cute. Then next to her, we have Provoke and Provoke is what feels like a shimmer. Ooh, these shimmers are like buttery soft though. You guys see that? How blinding that is? That's a very pretty shimmer. Then you have Entice. And Entice is like this. I don't know how to describe it. It's very pretty. It's like this yellow toned um, brown maybe. How would you call that yellow? There's a, like a mustard. Maybe like a mustard yellow. Then you have Obscure. And Obscure is the one that I use for my inner corner highlight. She is very pretty. She looks almost like a soft, um, powdery shimmer. That's a second swatch. Then you have Ravage. It's, this is another shimmer. There's a lot of different formulas in here. I couldn't, for the life of me, tell you guys what the shimmers exactly are. I just can only tell you what they feel like and what they seem like because I'm not even 100% sure what they are. Then you have Catch. Catch looks like another shimmer. One is lighter and then one is darker. So they are different. I don't want you guys to think they're anything looking. They don't look nothing alike in the pan. They're right here. In the pan they look very, very different. Then you have Trap, which is another shimmer. Well, it feels like a shimmer, but it's actually not. Now that I'm using it, it's a cream to powder formula. So that's one swatch. I'm trying to like build it up. See, it's right there. It's very pretty though. Next row, we have Silent. Silent is that one green that I told you guys about. This is a very, like, cream to powder short. At least it feels like a satin matte. That's what it feels like. And I had to apply it several times. So you guys see, this is two swatches already. I had to apply it with my finger because I didn't want to work with a brush. And I had to apply it several times to get it to that pigmentation I wanted. 
Now, like I said, that was two swatches. This is the third one. So she is buildable. She takes a little getting used to, I'm not going to lie. But once I got her to like get up to that consistency I wanted, I was like, dude, you're so pretty. <laughs> like, I'm not going to complain. Next to her, we have Scent, which looks like a, she looks like a super sharp shadow, honestly. Such a beautiful color. You know what? This reminds me of a color they have inside the Goddess palette. See that? It's like a sheer shimmer. So it's, it's got a sheer undertone, but it's such a beautiful color. It has these clear gold and um, green reflex in it. Such a beautiful color. And it reminds me so much of that one in the Goddess palette. Then you have Camouflage. Camouflage is this bronze gold shimmer. Then we have Victory. Oh, God, Victory. I would have probably used Victory today. This is such a beautiful blue, blue shimmer. Tell me that doesn't stand out on my arm. <laughs> then we have the shimmer stock. Ooh, she's like a bronze red. Oof, that's such a beautiful color. Then you have quiver. Quiver is another satin matte. You can just tell. And that's just one swatch. I'm not too crazy about these satin mattes, you guys. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of hard to like just work with, build up, but I'm telling you once, if you have that patience, use them because they, so, they show up so beautiful on the eye. And then we have, this is a true matte. It feels like that anyways. This is Snare. This is my, um, what I use as my transition shade. In the third row of the beginning one is called Thrill. This feels like another satin matte. <laughs> This was actually a little bit more creamier than those past three mattes that I did. Then you have this shimmer that's called um, Spear. That is a gold. Next to that we have Chase. This is another one that looks, it looks and feels like a shimmer. And this is like a khaki brown champagne color. In person, you guys, it's a lot more prettier, believe me. It just looks plain on my arm, right? Because it's like this taupe. <laughs> And then you have Pursuit. Oh my God, Pursuit. Ooh, she is so beautiful. She is like this teal green. That is such a beautiful color. Mm, if I would have known what I would have known, I would have slapped you all over my eye, girl. Then we have Captivate. This is another satin matte. Not too crazy about those, but you know, still, they're in here. Pluck is the next one. This is um, a bronze shimmer. It's got some some tone of like some type of rose color in there. It's very pretty though. And then you have Bow, which is the last one in this row. Bow feels like a satin dark blue. And it's actually funny. Let me apply another swatch because I want to show you guys the arm swatch so this is the arm swatch of bow versus what she looks like in the pan she looks super dark in the pan look at she's just like this super dark navy blue and then you compare her to her swatch i mean i'm not gonna say that's pathetic but it's pathetic <laughs> Ooh, in the dye look at my poor finger off of just her mm -mm. First in the, in the last row, we have Ambush, and this is another one, like a satin matte, same thing. I'm going to add two swatches. So just where we're clear, this one is like a dark uh, blue, and this is more like a teal blue. So I don't know if you guys could tell the difference. There is like maybe, I want to say, two-tone difference. In the pan, you can clearly see one's blue and one's a blue-green. But on my arm, they look pretty darn similar, like crazy similar. Then you have Prowl, another satin one that I'm not crazy about, but they're in here. There's, there's a lot of them. That's two swatches. So that's like a taupe, huh? Like a taupe brown. Then you have this stealth color. It's really funny, but in the pan, it looks and feels like a shimmer. But when I swatched it, when I used it earlier, I did it with a brush. And that's the one that I used right here. So it, it's a dark emerald green. And it is like a satin matte formula. Then you have Pounce, which is, ooh, metallic orange. Like a metallic orange bronze. Very pretty. Then you have Lure. 
Lure feels like another sand mat. Oh, God. Alter Ego, why did you add so many? I think they were copying exactly the palette, but it's like still. You don't have to be exact dupe for that palette. You could have done your own thing. Added the same colors, but not exactly the same formulas, you know? And then you have Conquer, which is that metallic uh, red that I used all on the bottom. I would call it like a rust red. Honestly, it's a rust. But so clearly you can tell it's a red. <laughs> and then the last tone in here, we have Quest, which is like a sage shimmer. It's like a sage khaki, I would say. It's a very pretty color, though, look. So that's it for the swatches, you guys. Like, you guys see them all, right? They're very pretty. I don't know. I like it. Like I said, it takes a little bit getting used to, but once you get used to the formula, the looks that come from this are pretty. So I also did purchase the Alter Ego um, 8-piece eye brush collection. It came in this tube. Which I don't plan on keeping, but I've been keeping around this entire time just to do this video. <laughs> it's made out of cardboard, and each individual brush came wrapped up. Like, some of them are unwrapped, because obviously I used them today. But the three ones that I did use today are right here. So I used a number two, a number six, and a number one. And they have actually, on the packaging, they have what the brush is intended for. So this is a number four. And this one says it's an oval shadow brush. I love that they did that because, I don't know, it helps people like me who are not exactly professionals know exactly what the heck the brush is for, you know. This is a number seven. This is a pencil brush. Then you have number eight, which was, this is a smudger brush. I love that they came with like two little smudger brushes, like the one that I used down here. So the number eight is a smudger, that one right there. So the one that I use for my the red color, that is a number six. And that one is called a small shadow brush. I don't know. I loved it. I thought it was really cute. Then you have this one, which is a number one. And a number one is a blending fluff brush. Number two is a blending crease brush. This one right here. It's very pretty. Then you have a number four, which is an oval shadow brush. This one right here. It's a very pretty brush too. Number three, which is a large blender. This is just like a huge fluffy brush. And then this lastly, this is the number five. This is a small oval shadow brush. This one's like a firm one. This would be perfect for like, um, like a glitter or really those creamy um, metallic um, shimmers. Those are really good for those ones. So I can finally get rid of this little thingy now that I've shown you guys because I really don't want it. <laughs> and um, that's it, you guys. So hopefully I'll get this out by tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday. So that's when you guys are going to be seeing it on the September 2nd. You know, I am a Virgo um, um, sun. I am a Leo rising. And I am an Aquarius moon. I like long walks. Not just kidding. <laughs> you guys, if you guys want to see how I credit this looks today just stay tuned okay you guys so for my first color i went in with this color called snare right here it is like this um pumpkin orange color i i used it honestly i was going by because i have a green shirt on but my leggings are like multicolored with like orange and red and yellow and green and brown <laughs> it's just it's got a really pretty pretty design of like fall leaves and like random exotic looking flowers and stuff like that so i was like okay i'm gonna mix all these colors and just match to what you know i'm wearing right now so that's the color that i used just so you guys know So for my next color, I went in with this color called the Silent. It is, um, it's like an olivey green right here. This one right here in the corner. Uh, that one I mainly use to match my shirt. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you that I kind of find the formula kind of weird. It feels like a cream to shadow, like a cream to powder. I kept adding it and adding it and I just kept noticing like, at first I tried to use, um, a brush did not pick up well with the brush it performed better with the finger so that's what I ended up using but I was like wow this feels so weird it feels and looks like a matte 
but when you put it on it it, it feels more like um like a lotiony you know dry lotion basically you know how you're putting your lotion in and it starts drying down to nothing that's what it originally felt like to me i was like this is such a weird and like i don't have the metropolis file so i don't know what it's supposed to feel like all her little cream to shadow formula but that's what it feels like and that's the one that i use and i use my finger okay you guys <laughs> So for my next color, I went in with this beautiful dark forest green right here that's called Stealth. Um, I used a brush for this and I'm, I recommend that when you use that color, use a smaller brush. I just wanted to try out the new brushes <laughs> that came in here and this was like the best smallish brush I, I guess I could find to do the job. And they're kind of oddly shaped, I think, because of the way they were packaged. I don't know. It's still, I still got it to blend out beautifully. I had no problem with it. It's just I feel like I should have done, um, I should have got a better uh, brush than this huge brush because I wanted to concentrate just in that corner. So I applied it right here, and then I did a little bit across. I didn't do anything right here on the bottom. I just, like, tapped it into that little round corner that I usually do, but I kept the bottom completely untouched so it's just right here a little bit across and i stopped right here that's what you guys are going to see me do next color i went in with this one right here that's called conquer it is a shimmer like dark red i want to call it it's very pretty i call it like a rust red that's what it seems like to me i applied it all on the bottom of my lid just everywhere on the bottom so that's what i did you guys So for my inner corner highlight, I use this color right here that's called Obscure and it is like a champagne vanilla tone, more on the peachy side. It's very pretty though, the way it showed up on my eye, I love it. So that's what I did and I just used my finger. So that's pretty much it you guys, let me put on some mascara on this side and then I'll be right back to give you guys a close up. So this is the finished eye look. I'm hoping you guys like it. I honestly do love it a lot. It actually surprised me. I like it. As a palette, it's really pretty, especially for fall and stuff. So let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. This palette is super cute. Um, I like, it's actually a lot bigger than my other two palettes that I have from them. I have their Aurora palette and their Goddess palette. If I had to choose between the Aurora and the Goddess, the Goddess is by far my favorite because I love green tones. And that one has like dark greens and these teal colors in there. It just reminds me so much of my Goddess palette. This would be like Goddess 2.0, right? Because <laughs> it has all these beautiful tones in there. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha, what was it, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Which, by the way, I did want that palette, but I wasn't willing to know for Cat No 129 for hers. And then when I saw that they were duping it, I was like, heck yeah, I'm there, right? I love, love, I love Alter Ego. They have such just beautiful quality. It's not like, I wouldn't compare it to an elf. <laughs> or, um, or even like, you know, Wet n Wild. It definitely surpasses that kind of quality. But, I don't know. I, f I find it like right up there with my BH Cosmetics and my ColourPop. It's, it's something that is not breaking the bank, but it's actually surprisingly good quality, right? That's how I would rank them. And I love Hip Dot too, and Hip Dot's like right around the same quality as them. I don't know. I love it. I love all these tones in here. This is like a perfect fall palette. When I looked at it at first, I was like, dude, this got a lot of like orange and golds and just like all these fall tones that you would automatically assume that's a fall palette. It even got to this random taupe one in there that I would probably use. That one's like a darker taupe. The only thing I probably didn't like is some of these formulas take a little getting used to. Like Silence. Silence was 
it has like this dry powdery formula not exactly like a matte it's not exactly like a matte it's very hard to explain like a satin like a satin matte and it's really weird because I've never tried anything like that so it took a, a little bit of building up it didn't want to work with the brush it worked better with my finger but I could tell it just had the satin powderiness to it and I had to just keep on applying applying I mean the pigmentation is there it got there and it got and it performed the way I wanted it to I mean, obviously, the color's there. You can see it. It's beautiful. It just takes a little getting used to. You know, once you work out the kinks and stuff, I think it's just an awesome palette. Definitely, it's going to be one of my staples because, like, I'm not getting rid of this one. There's things that automatically when I see a palette and I open it up, I know if I want to keep it in my collection or I don't. It's just automatic, you guys. That's how I am. I'm not a hoarder. I'm not, like, really... I don't consider myself a collector. As soon as I see it, I use it, I know, okay, it's staying. But if I don't enjoy it the first time I use it, I'm not keeping her. Like, I'm sorry if that sounds messed up, but I'm like, I'm, I know I didn't enjoy you the first time. I'm definitely not going to enjoy you the second time. If I give you a second and third try, honey, I gave you one too many. You need to go. <laughs> yeah, but that's it, you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. <laughs> Bye, you guys.